Please welcome Anna Friel, everybody. Anna, welcome, welcome, welcome. How nice to see you. Now, we've never met other than known each other for a long time. Yes, we have. Yeah. I haven't seen you for about three and a half years, I think. Let's... Yeah, you're still English, though, even on the show, you're American. I'm American on the show, yeah. yeah I'm going to but... stay in my accent all day long. But I did that when we worked together. I was playing yeah. a Canadian, so I had a Canadian, Canadian accent. Canadian accent, yeah, it was delightful. We were hey. doing, we, this, when we were doing that film together, yeah. I, uh, I got the call to come and try out for this show. I know, and because David and I, David, my partner, we came out um, to Los Angeles and we turned the TV on and I'm like, oh my God, look, oh, Craig's no. a, a huge, yeah. big, massive presenter now. Oh, no, no, yeah, big presenter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm looking forward to my own reality show. I, I remember because you and David, when I was coming down to do the audition, you and David gave me a pair of lucky underpants to wear on the audition. We did, they had, if I remember correctly, they had little cassettes and microphones they on them. They did. A, they, a pair uh, of boxer shorts. No, they were kind of oh, panty. Oh, were they pants? They oh, were, were they, more panty, were they the big, yeah. the big Y fronts? Yeah, they had a, they had a, a, an informal door. Okay. Uh, they, uh, I know a lady likes that door. The, yeah. Does a lady like a that lady door? A lady tends to like that door. Really? <laughs> Sometimes. Tell Imagine. me about the lady that likes that door. I don't think I know that lady. You I know don't? this lady, well, but I don't know the lady that likes you, the door. You should know a lady who likes that door. Although well, I've met a few, I suppose. <laughs> lady may be a stretch, but yeah, it's all right. <laughs> now, now uh, so you're the Pushing Daisy show, what's that about? Um, it's a whimsical, romantic fairy tale that brings mystery every single week, and it's about um, a pie maker named Ned, who is pie a, maker. A you pie maker. Yeah. He makes a fantastic That's pie. That's TV right there. Take that, it, detectives. It, it, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And he uh, and he loves a girl called Chuck, and um, he can never touch her again because first touch is is a li is life, and second touch dead again forever. So we have to find. He touches you once, and you're come I, alive. I, like, yeah, and he, I, I died, um, and, I, and he hadn't seen me for since I was about eight years old, and he's still in love with me when he finds out that I've died and he comes and touches me and, and gives me life again and then we have to live this 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 romance through without ever being able to touch oh that's going to be tricky well, especially when you get to the bit with the door well exactly <laughs> We find at that point cellophane. Do you say cellophane? Is it cellophane? Cellophane. Cellophane. Yeah, that comes yeah you in know very the, handy. Uh, the the saran wrap. Saran wrap. Right, yeah, yeah, that it... comes in very handy. Oh. But we don't go, we don't go to the stage of doors. It's on at eight o'clock on ABC, which is doing really well right now. ABC. Oh, <laughs> they're, they're they're dominating American television. <laughs> if it weren't for NBC forging ahead past them, uh, it would be. Well, uh, you're you're on NBC. What you're on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know who's winning. Do you follow the ratings and stuff? Do you I, I think, well, tomorrow we air for the first time. And I remember last year we only had nine episodes. And I remember coming in every Thursday going, how did we do? And the stress was too much. So I just thought, get on with your own job and you leave that for everybody yes, else. Yes, no, you should because I, I used to look at the ratings for this show, but then I just used to get depressed. <laughs> I think you do pretty well yeah, to be on great. for four no, years. See, the thing is, this is the whole thing, though. Once you don't give a rat's ass, they go through the roof. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the way to treat yeah. life, I think. Now, have you, have you been having a nice time in California? What I, about, did you get yourself a nice pet? Uh, I got, I've got two cats, Benny and Murphy, mm -hmm. but we, we do have a... What about a nice pet? Do you have a nice pet? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, they're, 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 they're actually not being very nice pets because they've destroyed the, the armpits of every single piece of clothing I, I own. So I'm often going out and I'm like, hi, nice to see you, how are you doing? And I've got huge big holes because they eat the armpits. They're attracted to the sweat. Well, they, and they, they will, you know, cats will eat you if you die. They will. Course, and yeah. I, 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 <laughs> well, you didn't know. <laughs> and we have, but we do, because coming from England, we don't have things like raccoons and coyotes. And we have a very interesting raccoon in our garden. Oh, yeah? That comes and sits there and just stares at you and makes very loud noises. A kind of noise that we well, a kind of noise that we blamed everyone around the table for for a long time. A farty raccoon. It was. <laughs> that is the luckiest thing in the world. A farty raccoon beats a leprechaun or a four-leaf clover. <laughs> farty but raccoon. They're, they're no. Yes. They're, they, <laughs> do you not have one? A, a farty raccoon. Oh, if only I did. I, I, Would I be stuck in this dump if I had a farty raccoon? <laughs> I'd be living in a palace. <laughs> Gardens came with one. I was no, like, oh, you have the a raccoon over here, and they fought. No, no. Do, does the do, do, uh, uh, does it smell? 
Well, I haven't smelt it. See, well, I'm, I'm, I don't go near them. I've heard that they can be quite dangerous. Which Raccoons? No, it. not not so dangerous. No, 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 no. More, okay. it's uh, as dangerous as a, an average uh, celebrity, Liza Minnelli type dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> a little. Uh, a little bit unpredictable, but most of the time fairly harmless, okay. I think, the raccoons. Do you go out and, and see around California? Have you been I out do. See I, I, well, that's what I think I love about L.A. is you can go, you can go down to the beach, and I've got a three-year-old daughter now. You've never oh, met. I know. I've never met Gracie. Gracie. I'm so sorry. And, um, and, um, uh, and then you can go, we go into the canyons a lot and go hiking. And I, I, go, I run down the hill every day and get my very healthy green juice. To make my skin and hair It looks great. Your skin and hair looks great. Yeah, no, it looks awesome. That, between your green juice and your farty raccoon, the world's your oyster. I'm doing great. Yeah, yeah. I know. We're out of time. Will you come back again? I, see, I, I feel like we were to. kind of rushed tonight. I'd really love to. All right, to. yeah. So, the lovely Anna Friel, everybody. We'll be right back. That is so cool. Please welcome Anna Friel, everybody. Anna Friel. You. I'm really well. We've been dancing and singing along to you at your opening. What a fantastic opening! Did I'm you sure like that. Well, wasn't that brilliant? Oh yes, thank you. We're all like, la, 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 la. We had, I've had such a stressful yeah, day I, today. I, I actually recorded that song. You did? Well, you've got a great no, voice. No, no, it's, it's lip syncing. It's a drag queen trick. Oh really? Well, you're very good at it. Well, I'm a drag queen of sorts. You I, are. Yeah, I put on somebody else's clothes and perform for the ladies and gentlemen. Are you, are you, does that mean you're wearing knickers, really? Oh, I'm not. I don't wear the lucky underpants oh, anymore. Like, oh, no, oh, no, no. no I, if you do it, well, we have to catch them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anna and I know each other from a long time ago. We worked on a film together, mm -hmm. and then when I got this job, Anna and David, her boyfriend slash companion slash mother, Who says father hello. of you, yeah, they, they, they. Oh, yeah. Say hi to him. Is oh, he around? Is he here? No, he's in England shooting a movie that I star. We're on the, in the same movie for the first time ever. But he, when he finishes, I start. So we haven't got a scene. Should together. we phone him? We could phone him. All right, then. We, we, we could do with him here. Oh, we could, but... Oh, no, we <laughs> oh, can't. Oh, it's not working. Right. No, right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. they, what happened was when we worked... When I got this job, you and uh, David very kindly gave me a pair of uh, underpants we to did. wear my first night, and I wore them for the first two years of this show. <laughs> well, I did. I without, did. without washing them as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. No, I did. I used to wash them every night after the show, and eventually they disintegrated. Aww. Aww. Some new ones. No, no, don't. Because from, I thought they were Winnipeg. lucky underpants, but the show didn't really take off until I stopped wearing them. <laughs> that sucks. Because this is the show taking off. Look at that. Oh, you're taking off. Oh, there's some people in from London, by the way. There are. Yes, yes, they're over there. You can tell, you know. I'm going back there tomorrow. Yeah. Well, Looking forward to going to the subway to the station yeah, to watch the, someone do a jobby on the platform. That's yeah, going to be mighty I, good. That's true. I, I saw. I can't it. believe that. I saw. I could not believe my eyes when I saw that happening. I'm not I surprised. I wished I had a camera. I wish you had too. It's horrible. Uh, my, yet weird. My uncle John has actually got pictures of um, those kind of things on his wall. I went round to his house. Why? And, I don't know. We went round recently, and he's got pictures of certain jobbies on his wall. <laughs> And we're like, we think you need to go and see a doctor. That's not normal. It's not normal. No. But, and does he have a website? No, uh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> it's not of his, obviously. It's of the dog. It's of his dogs. And me and my brother. Oh, that's that, that's that's not, right. not right. That's is not it? right. No, it's not right. No, now I listen. Now, what, what part of London are you? Do you live in? Uh, in Windsor, near the castle. Oh, that's outside. Yeah, it's outside London. London. Yeah. yeah. David's got a place in Clerkenwell, and then but I live out in Windsor, so I don't go on the subways very often. No, you don't want to go on the subway now. Not with your international dinosaur movie fame. No. <laughs> I just don't. I'm not a big, massive fan of the subway. Are you? Not really. No, I, I never. Well, in London, when I was, I would, if ever I could afford it, I would take a taxi because the taxi drivers are, are so good in London. Yeah. And they're always like, all right, mate. All, all right, right yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. Do you ever notice that a lot of them have got tiny little mouths? Have they? Tiny little mouths, and so you can't really. You think, oh, they must eat beans one at a time. <laughs> all, right. all right, mate. How you doing? All right. <laughs> Hey, you know who was in the back of the cab once? <laughs> that bloke from Star Wars. You remember him? Yeah. Either that or they've got a moustache. Yeah, well, sometimes their moustache is so big that you can't even you see, can't their see their mouth. Yeah, yeah, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. It's true. Hey, hey is I, that I, true that Lindsay Lohan is, is, lives next door to you? Uh, about three doors down. Because you just live up the street yeah, from me. Yeah, I always find out whether she's actually going out with her girlfriend or not, because if, if she is, then is the paparazzi are outside. Is she still a lesbian? I thought she'd given it up. I don't know. The paparazzi are back outside her house, so something's going on. 
Oh, Not there's sure always what. something going on with Lindsay. Yeah. Do they ever uh, take photographs of you? Uh, I think if they get if they get uh, bored with Lindsay or Lindsay's not there, and I'm running down the hill, then they'll go, oh, Lindsay's not here, let's take Anna. That happens sometimes. Yeah, that push happens <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Pushing my daughter down the, down, down the hill. You know, what, you know what you could maybe do? What? what I'm just saying, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it's just an idea that I had. Okay, go on. All right, well, maybe if you went over at Lindsay's house and started a pillow fight with her... <laughs> Good. In, we're only wearing our nighties. No clothes allowed. Okay, if yeah. whatever makes okay. you comfortable. If, if you feel that... Because yeah. so, I only live down... I live at, like half well, a mile from Well, you can come. You can be the, the only man at the party. You know, a pyjama party. <laughs> <laughs> what about... I mean, you just got recently married, I hear. Congratulations. <laughs> but you can still come. You can bring her. Yeah, oh. Yeah, I can? You can. Oh. can. I'll talk we to her tonight. We can have one big party and it'll be great. Oh, no, it'll be great. No, she loves a pillow fight, my wife. She does? Yeah, yeah. She's very nice. Have you met her? No, I would love to. Oh, you'd I like her a lot. Yeah, she's a very pleasant woman. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> I'm fond of her. I, well, I, I would hope so. Yo, I'm very fond of her. Yeah, she's funny, she's nice, very attractive. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is she brunette or blonde? She's blonde. Yes. Yeah, she's a very nice bottom as well. Has she? <laughs> Oh, good for her, I'm yeah, glad. I know. Good for her and good for me. Yeah. <laughs> Even better Are you, are you, you. David married yet? No, it's still not. Oh, come Nine on. Nine years, I know. Come he hasn't on. asked me. Well, he hasn't? No. <laughs> you want to start a pillow fight with Lindsay Lohan, <laughs> then he'll ask you. <laughs> oh, that, I'm really? Sure. He hasn't? No, I don't know. He just, it's just not... It just... Not come up in conversation? No. Oh, you liar, liar, pants on fire. Swear to, I swear, I swear really? to God, I haven't put pressure on. He hasn't asked. Well, you're very like, bohemian, both of you. Yeah, we've got a kind of, child, yeah, and that's yeah, the thing that joins yeah, us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, will you give him my best when you go oh, back? Oh, I home? will. He sent and me when all are you coming back? Uh, in February. I'll go back tomorrow, so I've got about eight, ca eight cases at home. I still haven't mastered um, the art of packing. So all I've right, got, so you go back, you'll be back, back here I'm in February. back in February, yeah. Uh, we'll come back on the show in February and bring David then. I will do. We'll come all together, right. married. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Anna Friel, everybody. We'll be right back. We're going to kick butt here, and then where are we going? We're going, I don't know, Louisville somewhere. Louisville, you don't say it like that. Louisville, you say it like this. <laughs> Louisville. No, no, no. Louisville's the name of the town. If you're reading it, if you're from there, you want to impress people in Louisville, you say it like this. <laughs> Louisville. <laughs> when you're in Louisville, say it like this. It's nice to be here. <laughs> hey, I have a, word, a bad enough speech impediment, okay? 